Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out one of the coolest looking mousetraps that I've ever seen. It's been made to look like a monster or a crocodile with great big jaws and sharp teeth that chomp down, then it stares at you with yellow piercing eyes. This is a plastic one-click style mousetrap where you push the back and it's set. There's two powerful springs, a bait cup, and a trigger. When the mouse comes along and tries to get the bait, it will step on the trigger and get caught. And that has quite a bit of force. It looks like a good mouse trap, except I'm kind of concerned about the quality. Now I bought these traps on Amazon. They're made in China by Zhi Yang Trade. They have a dragon as a logo and the box is pretty funny. It says trap pedal, thick springs, sensitive organ. I don't know what that means. And crocodile tooth. There's 12 traps in the box. We'll take a look at them. Now the traps did come with a roll of plastic bags. That's a nice feature. You can use these as gloves or throw the dead mice away. Also a bunch of string to tie down the traps, but I'm very concerned right here. There's pieces of the trigger system. It looks like the back pin here is made of plastic and it breaks off very easily. Now as I go to set these, that's a good one. Another good one. So far so good. I'm trying to find the broken one. Ah, that will work. This one I can't get to set, but it's not missing the trigger, it's just missing part of the pin. Oops, so that's one of the damaged ones. This one doesn't have a trigger right there, it broke off in the back. Another broken one, no trigger. That's a good one. Good one. So it's not setting here, broken pin in the back. So four of them are broken. It looks like I only got 11 instead of 12. So the quality control is pretty poor, but we're gonna take a trap that does work and test it out in the barn. Now this trap is the right size for catching mice, but it's much too small for catching larger animals such as rats, chipmunks, and squirrels. If they try to get the bait, they get injured and steal the trap. I don't want that to happen, so I'm gonna use the mouse trap box. Here we have a box with a mouse size hole and a lid that flips up. We'll set the trap and place it in the back that way, we can target mice only and keep the rats and squirrels away. Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if we can catch a mouse with the monster mouse trap. Well, last night it didn't take long to catch a mouse with the monster mouse trap. When it's not broken, it actually works pretty well at catching mice, but it's made from such cheap plastic, it's not built to last, and you can expect it to break very quickly if it doesn't arrive in the package already broken. So obviously, it's not a mouse trap I recommend if you wanna deal with the mouse problem, but it does look cool, so I'm gonna add it to the mouse trap collection. On my channel, I test out every mouse and rat trap I can get my hands on. I have a collection with over 2,000 different mouse traps. Some of them are great, and many of them are pretty bad like this one. So don't buy this mouse trap. We're gonna end the video by feeding the mouse we caught to wild animals. I'm gonna set up the motion cameras. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Now let's see what eats this mouse.